The arrest of Damien, a former French legionnaire turned private security consultant, in Burkina Faso has shown a spotlight on the persistent efforts by Western powers, particularly France, to meddle in the affairs of African nations long after the end of colonial rule. This incident highlights the evolving dynamics in West Africa, where countries are increasingly asserting their sovereignty and pushing back against the lingering influence of former colonial masters. Burkina Faso, a landlocked country in the heart of the volatile Sahel region, has become the latest battleground in the struggle for African self-determination. The country's military junta, which seized power in September 2022, has taken deliberate steps to distance itself from France, expelling French troops and cancelling a long-standing military pact dating back to the 1960s. This shift in allegiance has not sat well with France, which has historically viewed the region as its sphere of influence. The arrest of Damien, a former French soldier, on charges of espionage, is a stark reminder of the West's enduring interference in African affairs. The discovery of sensitive information about Burkina Faso's security situation on Damien's devices suggests that his role extended beyond corporate interests and was part of a calculated effort to gather intelligence that could serve Western interests, directly undermining the country's autonomy in the process. This incident is the latest in a series of diplomatic rows between France and Burkina Faso, which have escalated since the military junta's rise to power. The expulsion of French diplomats, labeled as persona non grata for engaging in subversive activities, further underscores the deteriorating relationship between the two nations. The West's continued involvement in Africa, cloaked under the guise of economic cooperation and security support, is rooted in a potent combination of fear and greed. The fear of losing a strategic foothold in a continent rich in resources, and the greed to continue exploiting those resources, gold, oil, and minerals, that are essential to Western economies, have driven the persistent meddling of Western powers in African affairs. As African nations, like Burkina Faso, increasingly assert control over their resources and political destinies, the West is scrambling to maintain its traditional dominance. The arrest of Damien serves as a wake-up call, a stark reminder that Africa is no longer a passive player in the geopolitical arena. The continent is awake, aware, and more than willing to resist the lingering specters of colonial control. Burkina Faso's strategic importance in the Sahel region, characterized by political instability and armed conflict, makes it a prime target for espionage and covert operations. The Sahel has become a geopolitical hotspot where global interests collide, with France, in particular, viewing the region as critical for maintaining its influence in Africa. Western operatives, like Damien, embed themselves within local contexts, gathering intelligence, influencing political developments, and ensuring continued access to valuable resources. Damien's arrest is not just about a single rogue spy, but rather indicative of a larger, coordinated effort by Western powers to manipulate the political landscape of West Africa. The involvement of a former French soldier in Burkina Faso's mining sector, along with the discovery of sensitive security information, suggests a deliberate agenda to safeguard Western interests in the region. Moreover, the Sahel region, including Burkina Faso, serves as a critical gateway to broader African markets and resources. Control over this region provides strategic leverage not just in terms of resource access but also in shaping the political landscape to favor Western interests. With China and Russia increasingly expanding their influence in Africa, the stakes for the West are higher than ever. Burkina Faso's response to this continued interference is a testament to the growing intolerance of African nations for external meddling. The arrest of Damien is a bold step towards a more self-determined future, where African countries reclaim their sovereignty and resist the lingering specters of colonial control. As the West's traditional dominance in Africa is challenged, the future of the continent hangs in the balance. The unraveling of Western interference, as exemplified by the Damien incident, signifies a pivotal moment in Africa's quest for true independence and self-determination. The continent's ability to adapt and resist the old playbook of coups, insurgencies, and resource exploitation will be crucial in shaping the geopolitical landscape of the 21st century. In recent years, a new movement has emerged across Africa, challenging the unchecked Western influence that has long dominated the continent. 
Countries like Burkina Faso, alongside Mali and Niger, are at the forefront of this bold stance, making it abundantly clear that the era of Western meddling in their affairs is over. This shift marks a significant transition in how African nations are now choosing to manage foreign interference. A resurgence of Pan-Africanism, a political and cultural movement advocating for unity and cooperation among African nations, has been a driving force behind this change. Countries like Burkina Faso are increasingly rejecting foreign military presence, moving to nationalize industries and take control of resources that have long been dominated by foreign corporations. The arrest of a Western operative in Burkina Faso is a reflection of this growing movement. By taking swift action, the country is sending a clear message to the West, Africa will no longer tolerate covert operations and underhanded tactics that threaten its sovereignty. The implications of this stance are profound, as Africa is no longer willing to play by the rules set by Western powers. Instead, it is taking bold steps to reclaim its place on the global stage as a continent with its own agency and authority. Burkina Faso's actions set a precedent for other African nations, demonstrating that they too can stand up to external interference and protect their sovereignty. This newfound assertiveness is not just a political gesture, but a strategic move. By cracking down on espionage and foreign manipulation, African nations are safeguarding their resources and ensuring that their political and economic futures are determined by Africans, for Africans. This shift represents a broader trend across the continent, where nations are increasingly prioritizing their interests and standing firm against any form of neocolonialism. However, this newfound resistance is not without its challenges. The question now is, what are the potential repercussions of this shift in power dynamics for both Africa and the West? The arrest of the Western operative by Burkina Faso carries significant implications for the global geopolitical landscape. For African nations asserting their independence from Western interference, there are risks of economic sanctions, diplomatic isolation, and even attempts to destabilize regimes through indirect means. However, African nations are increasingly prepared to navigate these challenges. The growing emphasis on intercontinental trade, investments in local industries, and strategic partnerships with non-Western countries like China and Russia provide Africa with new avenues to bolster its economic independence and reduce reliance on the West. This strategy is already yielding results, as nations invest in infrastructure, education, and technology, reducing their dependence on Western aid and forging new alliances that reflect their interests. These moves are not just about economic diversification, they are about reclaiming sovereignty and asserting a new identity on the global stage. For the West, particularly France, the consequences are equally significant. Losing influence over African resources and diminishing their geopolitical control could have serious economic and strategic repercussions. As African nations consolidate their power and unity, Western powers are faced with a new reality where they can no longer operate with impunity. The arrest of the Western operative is a clear warning that the old tactics of covert operations and economic manipulation are no longer viable. The West must now confront a rapidly changing world where Africa is increasingly asserting its autonomy and influence. However, this shift is not without its dangers. The West, facing diminishing influence in Africa, might resort to more aggressive tactics to maintain its foothold. This could mean ramping up diplomatic pressure, imposing economic sanctions, or even supporting opposition groups within African countries to destabilize regimes that are seen as too hostile to Western interests. The risk of increased tension and conflict is real, and Africa must navigate these waters carefully to maintain its newfound sovereignty. But is there a path forward for the West to engage with Africa on more equal and respectful terms? The West stands at a critical crossroads. It must decide whether to adapt to Africa's growing assertiveness and shift towards a relationship based on mutual respect and equality, or risk further alienation by clinging to outdated practices of exploitation and control. If the West is to adapt, it will need to fundamentally rethink its approach, moving away from a paternalistic, neocolonial stance to one of genuine partnership. This shift would involve recognizing Africa's right to self-determination, supporting fair trade practices, and respecting Africa's economic and political sovereignty without interference. To engage with Africa on equal terms, 
Western powers must also acknowledge the historical injustices of colonialism and neocolonialism, not only by apologizing but also by providing reparative justice in forms that African nations deem appropriate. Moreover, the West should support African-led initiatives that promote sustainable development, economic diversification, and regional stability. Engaging in good faith with African leaders, respecting their decisions, and avoiding any form of coercive diplomacy will be essential to building a future-oriented partnership. However, if the West refuses to adapt and persists in its old habits of covert operations, economic manipulation, and political interference, it risks being left behind in a rapidly transforming Africa. Damien's arrest is a clear indication that Africa is no longer willing to play by the old rules. The future of Africa-West relations hinges on the West's ability to understand and respect this new reality. The days of one-sided relationships are over, and the West must decide whether it is ready to engage with Africa on its terms in this new era. The West must also understand that Africa is not a monolithic entity to be controlled or manipulated, it is a diverse continent with its own set of challenges, aspirations, and ambitions. A shift towards a more equitable relationship will require a re-evaluation of past policies and a genuine commitment to supporting Africa's growth and development without strings attached. As we reach the end of this analysis, it's crucial to reflect on the broader lessons from Damien's arrest and what this incident signifies for both Africa and the global community moving forward. Damien's arrest in Burkina Faso is far more than just an isolated incident, it symbolizes a significant shift in Africa's relationship with the West. It highlights Africa's growing resistance to foreign interference and its determination to assert control over its resources and political destiny. This incident should serve as a wake-up call for Western powers to rethink their approach to Africa and recognize that the era of unchecked influence and neocolonialism is rapidly fading. For too long, the West has operated under the assumption that it could dictate the terms of engagement with Africa, but the landscape has shifted. Africa is no longer a passive player in global affairs, it is a dynamic, assertive, and increasingly unified continent demanding respect and equality. Damien's arrest is not just a story of espionage, it is a turning point that signifies Africa's readiness to chart its course unapologetically and assertively. The path forward is clear, Africa is rising, and it demands to be treated as a sovereign equal. If the West is wise, it will adapt to this new reality and seek to build a relationship based on mutual respect and partnership. If not, it risks becoming increasingly irrelevant in a world where Africa is no longer content to play second fiddle. The world is watching, and Africa is leading the way. Africa's message to the world is unequivocal, it is no longer a pawn in a global game of power and resources, it is a player with its voice and its future, and that future is one where Africa stands tall, speaks boldly, and moves forward on its terms. The arrest of Damien is just the beginning, the world should take note, because Africa's story is being written by Africans now, and it's a narrative that's long overdue. As Africa continues to rise, the West must decide whether it wants to be a partner or a relic of the past. The choice is theirs, but the future belongs to Africa. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.